Welcome to YouthLink Calgary Interpretive Center's Cabin Fever Forensics, where we're sharing exciting activities that you can do at home to keep your littles busy and excited about learning. Today we're going to learn how to be fingerprint detectives in your own home. In Calgary, members of the Calgary Police Service are specially trained to learn how to find evidence at the scene of a crime. One of the most important types of evidence you can find are fingerprints. Well, what are fingerprints? If you take a look at your finger, on the very base of where you would touch something, take a very close look. What do you see? Do you see the tiny little ridge lines that are making a pattern in your fingerprints? That's what we're going to be talking about today. What you'll need for this easy experiment is a mirror, a pair of scissors, a blush brush, make sure to ask your mom before you use it, baby powder, if you don't have baby powder, then uh, face powder, your mom's face powder might work as well, again ask if you can use it, uh, clear tape, a flashlight, and a magnifying glass, and a black piece of paper and a white piece of paper. The first step you're going to do is take your mirror. Next, take your hand and just kind of wipe it along your face a little bit to try to get a little bit more oil on than you typically would have on your fingers. Next, take a couple of your fingerprints and just press very lightly on the mirror. As you can see, you can't see any of the prints yet. But this is the fun part. This is where we're going to use some of the techniques used by the professionals to find your fingerprints. Pick up your blush brush and the baby powder and very gently tap the baby, the brush into the baby powder. You don't want too much. Again, very gently, take the brush and just pass it along the fingerprints. In real life, uh, the brushes and the powder that they use um, is much better than this, but this will still work at home. But now you can see that the fingerprints are on the mirror. If you can't see them very well, this is the fun part. Take a little flashlight and just have a look from the side. It's called oblique lighting. And this will help you reveal the fingerprints. If you want to preserve the fingerprints in the professional world, you'd want to bring it back to the lab. Take a piece of clear tape. <laughs> of course. It's always hard to get off. <laughs> And just put it on one, start on one side and use your thumb to just go along uh, the flat surface. Keep in mind, this might get a little messy, but it's still a lot of fun, is take a washable marker and color in your finger. This one I did as a test, so this is what happens after you wash your hands. It still does stay on your finger a little bit. Uh, just color in one of your fingers. Oops, let's use the blue. I think that'll work better. Like this. And then very gently, you can just roll it on a white piece of paper, and voila. It's another way to find your fingerprint. And then you can use the magnifying glass to analyze. Um, if your kid seems really interested in fingerprints and wants to learn more, on our website we've posted a number of activities, including fingerprint activities, that goes into the depths of the types of, of fingerprints that are found in a crime scene, so they can identify whether they have a loop, a whorl, an arch, or a tented arch, and plenty of more experiments. We love feeling part of the action. Please add any pictures or comments below so that we can see what you're doing, how you're doing it, and follow along. I'm Jocelyn McGregor and hopefully I've helped bring some curiosity and learning into your home today.